back and today I'm doing a review on Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi. I recently read this book uh, during the month of September and I really really enjoyed it so I really wanted to do a spoiler free review on it so I'm gonna keep this spoiler free because I don't want to ruin the book for anyone so let's talk a little bit about Shatter Me. I can't remember what I rated this book. Pretty sure I gave this about a, five, a 5 out of 5 stars. Like, I'm pretty sure. Aha! I did. I did give this a 5 out of 5 stars. This is a dystopian, and you follow the character of Juliet. In her world, Earth is completely messed up. There's a shortage of food. The weather is horrible and unpredictable. The animals are dying. And yeah, we, we ruined everything. <laughs> Juliet has a gift. Her touch is fatal, so when she touches you, you start to die. And if she touches you for long enough, you will die. And she has been neglected her whole life. Everyone has treated her like a monster, even her parents, and they give her away. So at the very beginning of the book, you meet Juliet in this room that she's been locked in. The first sentence of the book grabbed my attention, which is the best. There's nothing better than to pick up a book and read the first sentence and be like, Hey, this sounds like it's gonna be good. I've been locked up for 264 days. So Shatter Me is written in the point of view of Juliet. After reading the book for a couple more pages, I absolutely and immediately fell in love with the writing. It's filled with so many incredible metaphors. I like to call it poetic because it reminds me of poems. It is so descriptive and I can see everything in my head and I loved it. I love the writing. And to give you another example, this is just a sentence from the book or a quote. I see dead, 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 red and burgundy and maroon and the richest shade of your mother's favorite lipstick all smeared into the earth. The richest shade of your mother's favorite lipstick. Damn. And if you didn't understand the quote, she's talking about how she's so blood smear all over earth because she's trying to remember how the world was and at this point earth is, is completely messed up. So in order for the world to be fixed, this group called the reestablishment has grown promising that they could fix it. They want to reestablish history so they want to burn history books. They want to have one universal language. There's no religion, no holidays, none of that. Cause now of course, the reestablishment people are no good, okay? They're just a bunch of soldiers who kill people and they tell you what to do and life is horrible, okay? Life is horrible. So in, in Shatter Me, you are introduced to one of the leaders of the reestablishment called Warner. Warner sees Juliet as a weapon and he wants to use her. Of course, Juliet does not want to be a weapon. She does not want to be used. And that is the basis of the plot. Juliet has a power and of course some bad people want to use her. So besides absolutely loving the writing, because it is so good, you guys. The writing is just so beautiful. This book is romance-oriented or romance-heavy. It is not subtle. It's there. And I enjoy myself a good romance. So that is another reason why I really enjoyed it. Because the romance, I, I enjoy the romance. I liked it. Of course, it's not perfect. And there's definitely a few romantic tropes in this book that I just... <sighs> <laughs> One of them being, for example, um, this is not a quote and it's not exactly what she said, but there was something there along the lines of, His love is washing away the hate I have for myself. Like, girl, come on. For real? <laughs> I couldn't help but roll my eyes, but overall I did like the romance. And I also really like the characters and I think there's great character development. When you meet Juliet, she is in a completely different place compared to the end of the book. She grows so much. She has a very set mindset at the beginning of the book and by the end it starts to change or it is changing and I can wait to read the rest of the books because I know that she can be a very powerful and defiant um, character and I definitely think that she's the kind to go and fight for what she believes in. Now, I don't know about you, 
But when I decided to pick up Shatter Me, all I knew and understood was that everyone loved Warner. Everyone loves him and I am still trying to understand why. Honestly, I couldn't decide whether I hated him or liked him because there were different moments in the book where I was like, hey, what you're saying makes sense. You seem like a good person. I don't know, I'm, I'm starting to like you, but then he would go and do some like messed up thing and I would be like, you know what, no. No. So I, I don't know how to feel about Warner. He is definitely an interesting character and that is why I wanted to mention him because so many people talk about him and I am looking forward to see and learn why everyone seems to love him so much. That is it for this video. Um, like I said, I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely recommend it. So if you're trying to decide whether to read it or not, I would say yes. Read it. Read it. Read it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys will come back for my next video. And I will see you guys then. So, bye!